guys, what's going on? Cody here from Escapade Made. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to, in my opinion, easily, safely, and time consciously remove your school bus windows. If you are in the process of skinning your bus or roof raising your bus, then you're going to need to remove these windows. So I want to show you the quickest way that I found to remove these windows I'm talking about. I'm talking about maybe less than a minute per window. So, um, we have all these different windows down here. I've already removed some in the back, but a lot of them have these little clips right here. So, first things first is we are gonna remove those clips. Now, if you have a Thomas bus, you're gonna want to use this little square clip right here, okay? So Thomas buses have little square clips. Other bus brands either have a Phillips head or some variation of this. You're gonna to wanna to have an impact driver. You should have an impact driver anyways whenever you're working on a bus, um, just because you're gonna need it at some point. So get you an impact driver. So we are gonna come up here and unscrew these four different screws. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alrighty guys, you can see what these screws are pretty much detailed or what kind of entails with this. So it's these little clips that the screws kind of hold the bus window in place. Now, if you watch any number of tutorials online, they're gonna tell you once you unscrew these screws right here, bring the, the window down to about halfway, and then pretty much just pull with all of your might to try to get this thing in place. As you can tell by the camera and the sounds in, this, uh, uh, in the background, that's really hard. That's gonna take a lot of energy on your part. You have to be really strong to do that. And I have, I have 13 on one side, 13, that's 26 times. Shoot, and that's gonna take, what, five or 10 minutes per window. I'm gonna pull a hammy. Nobody wants that to happen. So, save yourself the energy. Okay, so the best way that I've found to deal with this is to get yourself a pry bar and a hammer. That's it, okay? Now, with this pry bar, you're gonna want a pry bar anyways. We're going through the demolition phase. This is like five bucks at Harbor Freight. So don't, you know, you don't wanna need the biggest, baddest pry bar, just something small that you can handle with. All right, guys, we have our pry bar, we have our hammer. From here, we are going to basically make little indentations on each of the areas right here. We're gonna make little indentations right here. I like to hit my pry bar with the side of my hammer as opposed to the the front, uh, just because it gives me more surface area so I don't miss and hit my wrist and, you know, fall over and die. Okay, so, we're with the side, and then we're gonna slowly kind of pry it out. Like that. We're gonna go to the other end, do the same exact thing. Just a little bit, you don't need a super pry. You pry it out, and then look at that. This comes out of here. There. Guys, that took all of about 30 seconds and I was also giving you the tutorial during that time. So I have done this <laughs> about 20 times now um, and this has probably taken me 30 minutes if that. So about a minute per window, maybe like a minute and a half per window. Guys, do things smart, not hard. So this, if I was to try to yank on this and yank it out, I mean this would have taken me five, 10 minutes per window. Not to even talk about how like energy intensive that is. So I'm going to be super tired afterwards. So work smart, not hard. Hope this helps guys. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.